Welcome back my friends, welcome to another section here where we are going to work with our profile page, right? Because we do have this, I'm just going to show you in resources views, we do have this profile page, right? So let's test it out about the profile. So I need actually this to be visible for the users. So inside of views, I'm just going to create a new folder called users. And inside that users, I'm going to create another subfolder called profile. So in this subfolder profile, I will have index.blade. So new file. Why does it look like this? I have no idea. Just wait. Can I? Okay. Let's click on the profile and new file. And let's add an index.blade.php. Very good. So I'm inside users and I do have profile folder. Now, what I want is to grab this here profile page. I'm just going to copy it for now and I'm going to paste it here. Now, in this part here, I'm just going to clear it and we are going to say PHP artisan make controller users controller. Very good, and I want to do it with all of the resources available. Very good. Now, if you don't see it here in the app, the HTTP controllers, users controller, you need to refresh. That's how it's working. Now, I'm just gonna close it here. I don't need this profile anymore. I'm just gonna say users controller. Now here in the index, what I would normally do, I will just link this profile here. Right, and you'll see, we're gonna add a couple of things here. Now, here I'm gonna return view, and I already have that view, so I'm inside users folder, profile again, and index. Very good. Now, we need also to go in the web. So we need to create route for the users. Now here we are having a like a landing page. We're using some route that we don't need actually, and also we're not gonna need this one here, landing uh, profile page. Also, what, what I'm going to do here, I'm gonna tell you how you can get a prefix. You can put a name as we do here, and we can group um, group a couple of routes here, because my intention is to have in this users I do want to have a profile as well a posts a folder as well so let's see this well let's see how this will work now I'm just gonna say users controller and this will be a little bit different now before doing that I use it now all the time before doing that we need to create something here so I want let's just copy let's just clear this and say PHP you know go you can go up like this on the arrow and now we do have this we have <clears throat> sorry we do have what we need we have two logins home contact block about we do need to create this auth middleware because in users you don't actually see the users because we don't have it right now we do not need to create here something so what we can say here we can say public function we can call the constructor double underscore construct like that and inside we will just have this this and middleware and inside we can specify which middleware and that is auth very good now I'm just gonna close this construct so remember this is a constructor and this is the first thing that is called so what we can do here we can create actually now we can start creating the this middleware here now we can apply this middleware even through here route middleware like that and we can apply that middleware here Auth, right? So let's comment that one for a little bit. What happened? 
have no idea what happened. Okay, I cleared that one, and I have my, my table is jammed, so that's why it's having this problem. So I'm just gonna comment this one here, and I'm gonna open what the web. So here I'm going to apply this middleware auth. Now what else I can do? I put it in this brackets, so here you can comma and apply another middle middleware, or you can put some restriction. We will do that a little bit later. Now you will see how you can add prefix. I want to have prefix slash user, like like we do have here, slash home, slash about. I want that prefix to be applied. And I also I want that name to have a name here that will start. So I want to name this about. So I will name this user dot. The next thing that we can do, we can group this. So by grouping this, what we can create a function here inside, and that function will be just like that, and we need to close it at the end. So here I will say route resource and inside here we will say profile slash profile and you will see what will happen and here I'm gonna specify which controller I am going to use users controller I hope I this time I don't have like um, mistakes so users so here is users controller see I do have mistake so users controller and let's now refresh this one PHPR descent let's do it again now look at what happened so I do have users profile and I have user profile index user profile I have user profile store user profile create user profile show user profile update and I do have the authentication applied so that is one way you can skip this part here all right you can apply the middleware here through the route and after that I put resources in order to save me time manually creating all of this and that's why I name it user da so I can create when I can call it like this instead of using this URI here so I hope you understand in here it's telling you that we need to pass a parameter also for the update also for the destroy or and for the edit right so I uh, think we are in good hands now what we do have here index okay that we will check next time so what we have done actually we've created this uh, users controller first inside it users controller we do have public function index that we, it's returning users so it's going into users folder profile folder because we do have that one see we have nested two oops so we have users profile and that I'm linking index so I'm just getting this first parameter here I don't, don't need blade.php and here I've shown you how you can put a middleware and create a prefix and that is very easily seeable here so user slash profile and because here we do say profile it's basically like saying user slash profile here but I'm putting prefix here and I'm naming them I'm naming them with the dot because I'm gonna use that later I just like this convention password confirm password update see this is all being predefined for us but we have done something very similar so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you like it and uh, you know how now to create a prefix how to group them and to save your time here very good so see you in the next uh, next lecture I hope you enjoyed this one